Apple has officially released iPadOS 26 Beta 2, and with it, the vision for the future of the iPad has become even clearer. The initial wave of excitement that surrounded Beta 1 was not misplaced. Floating Windows, a polished new window management system, a redesigned file structure, all of that felt like a bold move by Apple. But Beta 2, with its refinements and targeted fixes, proves this wasn't just a flashy first impression. Apple is doubling down on transforming the iPad into something more than just a large screen companion. It's aiming to make it your daily driver. From the very start, the update experience is noticeably smoother. Coming in at nearly two gigabytes, Beta 2 isn't lightweight. You'll need about four gigabytes of free storage to ensure a clean install. But once installed, the performance leap is evident. The responsiveness has improved dramatically and the jitter scene in Beta 1 is virtually gone. Animations are fluid, multitasking feels more natural, and even when screen recording, the system shows signs of better optimization. If you're on an M4 iPad Pro, this update makes it feel like the powerhouse it's meant to be. One of the most talked about visual changes is in Control Center. With iPad OS 26, Apple has adopted a new liquid glass aesthetic and that extends deeply into the UI. Control Center now appears much cleaner with enhanced blur effects and sharper contrast. It's easier to read at a glance and feels less cluttered. This update resolves one of the earliest complaints from users who said the original transparency was more confusing than elegant. Moving into messages, we're seeing thoughtful refinements rather than headline-grabbing new features. A key tweak lies in how messages from unknown senders are flagged. Initially, these messages were marked with a red badge that looked alarmingly out of place within iPadOS's calmer, pastel-colored UI. Apple has now replaced that with a subtler blue badge, maintaining visibility without feeling disruptive. It's a small but significant improvement, showing Apple is paying attention to design harmony and user feedback. Beta 2 also gives us more insight into how Apple intelligence is being handled under the hood. There are now specific sections under settings dedicated to managing these capabilities. If you're not signed in or haven't upgraded to the premium AI features, the system shows limits on image generation and request volume. It's early days and Apple hasn't disclosed what these limits are exactly, but the UI now prepares users for potential restrictions. Interestingly, once you log in with a premium AI service, those limits vanish entirely. It's a sneak peek into how Apple may structure premium tiers of intelligence access in the near future. Another user-facing change comes in the form of sound customizations. Apple has introduced a new ringtone under the Reflection series called Alt-1. It's slightly more melodic and modern than the previous standard tones, and its inclusion suggests that personalization remains a focus. Alongside this, iPadOS now includes a feature called Late Night Mode, which automatically lowers notification sounds during nighttime hours. It's a thoughtful addition, especially for shared households or those sensitive to abrupt sound interruptions. Now, let's talk about Apple's push toward a full-blown communications hub. There's a new toggle under the phone settings called Detect Call Waiting. Yes, iPads can now more intelligently manage incoming calls, holding one while notifying you of another. This bridges the functionality gap between iPhones and iPads even further. Combined with features like call forwarding and enhanced call detection, your iPad isn't just a content consumption device anymore. It's part of a complete communications platform. Apple Music is also getting some love. There are now new widgets for the home screen a pinned playlist widget, and a large live radio widget. The pinned playlist widget allows you to keep your favorite albums or mixes right where you want them. And yes, it dynamically updates. No more opening the app every time. It's small touches like this that improve usability without overwhelming users with clutter. Customization has also taken a big step forward. iPadOS 26 Beta 2 now includes support for legacy, and 3D wallpapers in focus modes and lock screens. If you're someone who missed those nostalgic stock wallpapers from earlier iOS versions, 
They're back, better integrated, and now labeled for clarity. Each wallpaper now includes tiny monikers like 3D or Shuffle, making them easier to sort through and apply. It's a blend of the old with the new, a move clearly designed to appease longtime users while embracing modern aesthetics. Journal, Apple's new digital diary app, has received updates too. Previously, syncing across devices was spotty at best. In Beta 1, users reported inconsistent behavior between their iPhone and iPad journals. That's been ironed out. Now, when you log into Journal, there's a new splash screen prompting you to sync entries across devices. Once done, all past entries reappear like magic. It also supports locking your entries via passcode, offering more privacy without the need for third-party solutions. And of course, battery life remains a hot topic in every beta cycle. The new battery menu in iPadOS 26 offers deeper insights. You can now view daily breakdowns with clear graphs of charge percentage versus screen on time. During testing, high-performance tasks like video editing in LumaFusion or graphic design in Affinity Photo drain the battery quickly, as expected. But if you're sticking to Safari, Netflix, or basic productivity apps, a full charge can still easily get you 7 to 10 hours, even in beta. That bodes well for final release performance, especially with further optimization expected. The takeaway from all of this is that iPadOS 26 Beta 2 isn't just about fixing bugs. It's about showing where Apple is headed. Every update and tweak is strategic. It feels like Apple is laying the groundwork for an iPad-first future. With new multitasking controls, AI integration, personalized experiences, and better app syncing, they're creating a system that stands on its own. And perhaps most importantly, this beta proves Apple is listening. Complaints about UI clarity, sync issues, or missing wallpapers have been addressed promptly. The shift from red to blue indicators, restored legacy features, Improved customization options and enhancements to native apps are all signs of a more responsive Apple. The company may be late to the game in some areas, but when they commit, they polish. This update won't change how every iPad user works overnight, but it does send a clear message. The iPad isn't just the little brother of the Mac anymore. It's developing its own unique identity, one refined beta at a time. Whether you're an early adopter testing out every setting or a cautious user waiting for the final release, iPadOS 26 Beta 2 is worth paying attention to. It's thoughtful, responsive, and full of promise. So if you're on the fence about trying it, maybe now's the time. Because this is more than a software update. It's the start of something bigger.